And uh, the, other th uh, the other verse that we're going to go to is in Psalms, and it's actually uh, Psalm 103, and we're going to look at 11 and 12. Psalm 103, 11 says, As for as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our transgression from us. And uh, Psalm 103 is basically an exhortation to bless God for his mercy. So it's all about God's mercy. But that verse 12 is so powerful, is that uh, he, as far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our transgressions or our sins, our shortcomings. Uh, I don't know if you've ever looked at this verse before, but why did he say east from the west and not north from south? See, God has a, a meaning for everything he says he means. He has a place wherever he places it, and uh, he means everything he says, and he says what he means. Why didn't he say north from south? Why did he specifically say east from west? And very simply, if you, if you can picture a globe or if you have a globe, uh, handy in your home just get out the globe or a ball or something like that and you can see that um, and try to picture this but if you're walking north or if you're going north uh, eventually as you get to the top of the globe and you go over the top eventually you'll be heading south so the two meet north and south and God that, that's not good enough. See, east and west, if you look at the globe and you're going east to west, the east never meets the west. You, you, you head east, you'll keep going east, and you'll never head west. You head west, you'll keep going west, you never head east. Whereas north and south, you head north, eventually you're going to start heading south. And that is the impact here. God's word is perfect. God's word has impact. If you don't see that in the Word and just read it as words on a page, you'll never get the major impact of this. You know, you can read that, yeah, good, as far as east from west, okay, great. But when you really think about it and see the impact that it never hits, that's how far east is from the west. They never join. <laughs> it's, it's so powerful. It's incredible. And a lot of people will never see that. Uh, and may not never even read that, but read it and not understand it, and then you miss that impact. And what happens is uh, a lot of times our past stops us from going forward. And what God is telling us is, look, first of all, God cannot forget. God cannot forget. But as far as sin goes, he has chosen to forget. You know, God's all powerful. He doesn't forget stuff unless he wants to forget. You know, and that's what it's all about. He's forgetting our sin. We got born again. Those sins in the past, anything we did in the past is gone. But in our lives, if you want to bring it up to today and, and, and into our own lives, what happens is our past, uh, we choose not to forget our past, and we start living according to the past, and we can't go forward. So we're our worst own, own enemies. And what God is trying to say here, hey, if I can forget what you've done, in the past as far as the east is from the west why can't you do it why can't you forget your past and you have to remember that today starts your future today starts your future your past is gone you can't do anything about it so forget it is it easy no not at all um, and sometimes we think we've forgotten the past and then what happens is something that uh, we're, what we're doing in our daily walk and all of a sudden something doesn't go our way and now we bring up the past again. So it's a tough thing, but it's a, it's a renewing of the mind. But uh, if God can forget, we sh certainly should be able to forget. But Paul says about the race, you know, don't look backwards, you got to go forwards. So don't let your past stop you from attaining your, uh, your future. Don't let your past stop uh, you finding out and fulfilling God's plan for your life. And that is a big thing. Satan will use that. Satan will constantly bring it up. But a lot of times Satan doesn't even have to do anything because we're our own worst enemy. Uh, but this is very powerful. And uh, we're not going to be, you know, we're not, 
it's not how, let me put it this way, it's not how you start the race, it's how you finish that counts. You know, you can stumble out of the gate, you can fall down, um, uh, whatever. You know, if you get the picture of a race, yeah, you've heard this before, this is nothing new, this part of it. Um, but you can stumble in the beginning, if you finish strong, you can win the race. So, very important in our lives. So again, uh, when you look at the two of these together, uh, these two uh, verses, it is so powerful because what it's, again, when you put the two together, God, who cannot forget, chooses to forget our sins so that we can move forward, and then he has engraved or tattooed us in the palms of his hands so that he can love us and cherish us. He sees us. He knows our frailties. He created us. He has us there as a remembrance to him. He will never forget us, but unfortunately, sometimes we can forget God. So what we have to do is, number one, we have to forget our past. We have to move forward, and we have to never forget God, who is our shield and buckler, and we have to let God fight our battles. We have to let God be our strength. We have to trust God in every area of life. A lot of times what happens is, we choose our areas of trust. Uh, I can trust him for, the, for, for finances maybe, but I won't trust him for health. Or I'll trust him for health, but I won't trust him over here. You know, so we have to uh, get to the point where uh, we let God, who never forgets us, we're on the palms of his hand, we have to get to the point where we understand that that he's always watching out for our, our betterment, our good. All he wants is, is good for us. Uh, he will protect us if we let him. We have to let him, and then he will forget. He forgets whether we want it or not. He forgets our transgressions as far as the east is from the west. So we have nothing to do with that. Uh, we accept him. We accept his son, Jesus Christ. We get born again. He forgets our sins. Simple as that. It's a done deal. Why? <clears throat> Why do we persist in uh, not allowing him to uh, allow us to... Uh, live the more abundant life because that's what he wants so anyway uh hope you enjoyed this hope you can uh take a look at those verses and uh, uh again uh, there's a ton of these in the word uh i encourage you to study it uh, go to our <clears throat> excuse me go to our website uh many resources on there uh, we're here to help you <clears throat> i am a i'm the head coach or project coordinator here uh, we want we have programs we have suggestions for programs different things on the website that we want to get going uh, all we need is people to want it, want it to do it we're doing our part as far as we're getting we're, we're doing stuff that we're going to be doing online we're also available to uh, come into your home you have a, a, a Bible study or if you have a number of people you want something uh, done we'll do it in the house you know so as simple as that um, we're establishing relationships with other organizations as well. We're in the plan for that. Uh, also, a big thing, a big, big, uh, one of the biggest things dear to our heart right now is uh, KUFI, which is Christians United for Israel. Uh, it's very important that uh, Christians stand with Israel. It's very important for our country to stand with Israel. And uh, you look in the Word of God. Again, I'm not going to tell you where it is right now. <clears throat> you research. You go to a concordance and... Uh, Look it up where uh, we're told what happens, you know, uh, for, to Israel. Or God told Israel what will happen to those that bless them and what happens to those that don't bless them. So uh, that's just something dear to our heart. So if anybody knows any pastors or churches that are um, in tune with that, um, if you don't know, ask. And, um, you know, we're, we're, um, we have the organization Christian United for Israel, which is John Hagee's organization. Um, and uh, we can get something going here, and that's all we're looking for, people to have an interest in that. So, anyway, this is Tony Mangone signing off. Have a great day, and uh, happy uh, nugget hunting. Thank you. Bye.